morning and welcome. It's Jelly Cube and I'm here with all the flies. <laughs> um, painting this morning and I've had to open up all the doors and windows for some cool air because my air conditioning has broken down. So we're waiting to have it fixed, but I'm going to push on. I had a composition in mind for this particular piece. So I'm going to try it out. I'm going to do a bit of everything in this pour. Um, this is a 50 by 40. I've mixed some white paint, but I just fancy not having just plain white. So I'm going to squirt a little bit of the turquoise. This was already made up. So I want to squirt a little, uh, oh, I've got a little bit, a little bit of the turquoise in there to just send it a really nice pale shade. Sort of, hopefully it'll go like a baby blue or duck egg blue. Yes, that's beautiful. Really lovely. Instead of just white, just adding that little bit of paint just sends it a nice, very pale colour. So with this one, I'm going to try something. So I'm going to pour three quarters of my canvas with this and spread it out. So it's this nice, very pale baby blue. How gorgeous is that? I'm not too worried about taking the paint right over the edges at this point because I may um, end up blowing the paint over the edges. And it's something that you can always uh, paint your edges when you've finished if you don't like what they're looking like. So I'm going to kind of do a composition that's, well, you'll, you'll see, you will see. So I think I've got enough of my base coat on that particular bit for now. So I will um, just wipe off my spatula, trying to keep it clean. So I'm going to use this cool blue and I'm going to do a kind of V there. So I'm going to add to my cool blue some white. So I'm going to do this in kind of stages of the different uh, techniques that I want to do on it. So I'm going to do a blowout first of all and that is more of the turquoise and I'm going to add this is some of the um, berry delicious that I make up out of cool red phalo blue and a little blob of black sends it even darker so keep that in your squeegee containers so this is what I want to try at first now I've had this in mind and so of course had to come out to my art room and try it it's not all symmetrical which I am not worried about my work being symmetrical just burst in the air bubbles radio and now I'm getting my little uh, blow dryer so this is just a mini travel dryer I actually picked this one up from a charity shop um, it's called a baby bayless radio let me That went a wall. <laughs> Actually, that's perfect. That's perfect. I want to do something in this particular area, which you'll probably think I'm crazy, is to actually get, I'll probably do it at the end, but I'm, um, I want to get a paintbrush in some paint and just do some, let's try it now with this cool blue. I just want to do some 
Is it going to work? No. It isn't going to work because my paint's not runny enough. I just want to do some splodges. That's it. That's better. Probably need to just do my paint a bit thinner so it... I just want to do some splodges up here. And then I'll probably do some in a different colour as well. I might dip it in my cool red. So it's just to add some effects to the negative space, but without overdoing it. And I think that's perfect. Look how this has turned out. Oh my goodness, that is just gorgeous. That is absolutely beautiful. Love, love, love it. Okie doke. I may just blow a little bit of it out, but I'm going to concentrate on the bottom half now, which is I just pour some more of my base coat. So we're going in for a completely different look on the bottom. That's beautiful. Wow, wow, wow. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Rightio. Of course, I'm going to put some more of the cool blue in. I'm going to do the wiggles. I'm going to wiggle it. Wiggle it, jibble it. Rightio. I'm going to add some white. Just wiggle it in. going to go some of that cool red going to add some of this it's called wicker but I actually think the you can get the same colour now from Global and it's just called Warm Yellow. So they've changed, I think they've changed the name from Wicker to Warm Yellow, I believe. Because it's very, very, very similar, if not the same, I have found. So look how bright these colours are, just gorgeous. I'm going to heat those up. Actually going to go down the other way. I am going to... I might try a bit of the white. I'm going to swipe down the other way. So I've done a chaos blow. So I'm going, I've done my wiggles pour, and now I'm going to try doing a swipe. So I'll get all the techniques in this one. So let's just put the white, which I think I need some little strips of plastic to swipe with. The bigger strips are not gonna work so well. So I'll just use my plastic, soft plastic, to swipe that white down it always looks a bit of a mess at first but just bear with me look at the colors that are coming up now just like a whole um what would you say carnival of colors a summer garden wow 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 absolutely gorgeous just wipe off your plastic in between each swipe just so as it doesn't send your paints muddy those cells gorgeous cells coming up in that paint 
Look at that. They're just like gems. It's like the phoenix rising. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, I'm happy with that. Wow, that's gorgeous. Really lovely. Really, really lovely. I might actually just leave this to dry off to let the paint go a little bit tacky because when I come in and do some balloon art magic on it, it seems to really hold the um, structure of the balloon kisses beautifully. So I may just leave that for a while now and come back to it. But it's, I certainly would like to just add some softness maybe to this the blue the blue so just very gently do some just using a um, chopstick to trace your paint up just add in some feathery feathery bits to soften it up and i really like this just sprinkling your paint up there because then it will bring in this colour that I've got going on down here. Just enjoy, enjoy your art therapy. That's what it definitely is. It is for me anyway. Beautiful. I'll just show you if I can that probably pressing the balloon into it right now the paints will probably just fall in they probably still will look lovely but they'll look so much better if actually that is beautiful i'm probably gonna blow up a bigger balloon but that's gorgeous so I just i would just walk away now if you have trouble with balloon kisses it's a way to get them to work a little easier is if you let your paint absorb into your canvas and dry off for a little while. So I'm going to let that happen. Okie doke. It's only been 10 minutes since I left this and I've decided that I'm going to just blow some of this out for softness before I start doing my balloon work. So I've just got the stainless steel straw. just blends the bottom in a little bit sort of ties it in like I said I just had this co complete thing in my head that I just wanted to try so here it goes it probably would be better if I leave it a little bit longer maybe but I'm gonna try I've got my balloon that's blown up still quite soft so you have control of it you put the belly button in there I've got nice control of it and then I'm going to introduce some of these gorgeous oh look at that you can definitely transfer these balloon kisses onto another canvas or even card stock to make some lovely um, gift cards out of them so that's a really good idea you know transfer them onto on card stock personalized gift cards what could be better you can definitely do a balloon roll as well as a kiss absolutely gorgeous colors these colors are so vibrant because 
to my normal global paints, I've, I think I told you, it's like to my cool red, I added some of the high flow cardamom. So I just add a bit of the high flow to my normal colors, you know, corresponding colors, and it really makes the vibrancy just go off the charts. It's just really vibrant. So well worth a little bit of effort to squeeze in some high flow colors into your paints. Absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous effects with this. Oh, I want some more color up there. So I'll just transfer a bit. I mean, this really doesn't need too much because it's just so, <laughs> there's a lot going on but it's drama on canvas, but it's beautiful. It's really lovely. And the, and the only person I has got to please is yourself. So I'm coming in with my smaller balloon now. This one's just got a little bit of water in just for a little bit of weight. I find, I just find it works better for me um, to do it this way. So I'm just going into the center of where I've already done the balloon kissing and it just gives it another little, um, just another little gorgeous effect in there. Really gorgeous, love it. I probably don't need to put anything in this, but it's still, look at that, that is gorgeous. Just adds another little effect in your, your blowout or your chaos blow. I will turn it around so you can have a look at this. I just think that's gorgeous. And I'm really happy that I actually tried the different composition that I had in my head, because I'm really happy with how that worked out. And these colors, just that extra bit that I'm doing with my colors is just making them literally jump off the canvas. They're so vibrant. So there you go. They're all global colors there is exactly what I had in my crazy brain even down to this I might just do a bit of yellow flicks up there too let me try it I'll probably go and stuff the lot now won't I I just want to do There you go, crazy colorful, but absolutely bright and vibrant and jumping off the canvas with color. Love it. I hope that you love it too. Um, I'm certainly gonna try this composition on a really large canvas that I have to do um, for somebody, a friend. So I just love, I don't know, I just love it. So I hope you do too. Until tomorrow, my lovelies, please take care of yourself. If you're feeling sad, lonely, depressed, please ring a friend or a family member or a helpline. Nobody has to suffer in silence. Or better still, go and do something that gives you joy. If it's gardening, walking, a walk on the beach or the mountains or the snow, if you're lucky enough to have snow, <laughs> Um, go do something that makes your heart sing. So bye for now.